Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're actually here at the Thunderbolt Raceway in Millville, New Jersey. We're going to be actually following this driver Frank Sanchez as he races today in his Caterham Lola. I believe it's a, um, SP300, I believe, is the, is the vehicle. But we're going to be tracking that. It's going to be some fun stuff. Let's go ahead and get started.
7 GTX car number 61 out of Felton, Delaware, in a Canaan 2 liter Ford Focus, Frank Sanchez. Starting 6, STU car number 19 from Mallertown, Virginia, in a Subaru Impreza WRX STI, Anthony Rosselli. Starting 5th, in a SC car number 63 from Aston, Pennsylvania, in a Corvette is Jeffrey Pasquale. Starting 4th, T2 car number 90 from Colts Deck, New Jersey, in a Camaro is Anthony Valente. Starting 3rd, GT2 car number 93 from St. James, New York, in a Chevrolet Impala SS, Jen Cropata. Starting second in the T2 car number 46 from Glassboro, New Jersey, Alan Phillips. And our pole sitter, GTX car 95, Zach Bosley from New York, in a Revolution A off day one. Unfortunately, in the middle of the race, Frank's vehicle started to have brake problems, which was an issue that he had encountered in a previous race and thought had been corrected on this vehicle. But this forced him to have to slow down and rely mainly on downshifting to get the car around the remainder of the track to end the race.
Mm. I went to Lion Rock a week ahead of time. Oh, we didn't put it out there. Yeah. And then, okay. and then I went in. I went over the bridge on Lion Rock. And I went to the bridge on Lion Rock. Just finished the first race. Frank's returning back to the trailer. After returning to Frank's trailer, members of his team, as well as some helpers, went ahead and took the front end of the vehicle off so they could access the brakes and brake lines and hopefully diagnose and fix the problem that was encountered so the vehicle would be ready for the next race. So you bring them evenly, so it's, it's probably four turns, we'll bring them straight up. You take a walker and walk them, the same count. And this way it doesn't throw off the brake wires. And a cool thing is the, the gentleman and his daughter that are working on this car are actually competitors. Uh, she was driving one of the vehicles that was racing against Frank. So. It's pretty cool because everybody kind of helps one another and just a very cool atmosphere here between the different race teams. Okay, so Frank, uh, we just saw the race, and I just mentioned how the brake issue. Uh, did you want to comment on that a little bit? Yeah, we've had some problems with uh, this car and brakes. We haven't had this car very long, but it's got it's got a persistent brake issue. And you know, you can't these cars are just going too fast for you to fool around with that. I mean, we've replaced a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and we're still we're still struggling with figuring out what lap three the brakes just go right to the floor and the car doesn't stop. So well, hopefully we'll, they get it fixed this time. I hope so. We got some new people looking at it, and that helps too. You know, yeah, like a different set of eyes is always helpful. Yep. We need a guy in tech. Had some brake failure on the Caterham, the so they're working on it now, but that's it for this race for today. Unfortunately, they lost the brakes going into the third lap, um, so you don't want to take a gamble when you're going about 150, 160 miles an hour. So they're working on the car now. There's another race tomorrow, which I will not be covering, so hopefully the car will be ready for them. But um, that wraps up this video here with uh, Frank Sanchez here at the Thunderbolt Raceway in uh, Melville, New Jersey. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel as we constantly posting content. I'll see you next time. Last year, Frank Sanchez also received his Milestone Achievement Award from the SCCA for being a continuous 50-year member of the Sports Car Club of America.